Welcome to how to approve commitments and their related invoices in Sage Intact Construction. So we're going to be routing a subcontract and a subcontract invoice in the system to the project manager on a specific project. So I am going to be Doug Moffat, and we're going to route a subcontract in the system on a project that Doug is marked as the project manager. Before I show you the workflow of this, I want to show you some configuration settings that we need to turn on. So in purchasing, you're going to go to Setup Configuration. And you're going to scroll down to the Approvals area right here. You're going to enable purchasing approval. We're going to do a simple workflow. So we're going to not do the reapproval if something has been changed on the transaction. We're going to turn on email notifications to email the approvers and the people in the chain of approval. And we're going to hit manage here on approval policies. So the transaction definition for subcontracts and subcontract invoice, we will need to have a specific approval policy put on each definition. Okay, so I'm going to show you on the subcontract one here, you're going to pick transaction project manager approval rule. Okay, so any project manager, if it's a project manager on a project, it's going to use that field to route the invoice or subcontract to. So this one's a subcontract transaction definition, and you're just going to mirror it for the subcontract invoice. You pick the same rule here. Okay, so now that that is set up, This specific project here, we're going to create a subcontract for. Doug Moffat is the project manager. We're just going to pick a subcontract that's already in the system, and we're going to duplicate it. So let's make a new subcontract here. Okay, and then we're going to submit this. Now you can see the $61,500 for ACME subcontract submitted. Now I'm going to drag over a screen here where I'm logged in as Doug. And you can see his subcontract came in here to his approved transactions area in purchasing. So now, Doug can view it, look to see that he agrees with the coding and such, and he can hit approve or decline. Okay, so we're going to hit approve. Put a comment in there if you like. And now let's go look at it on the accounting user. We're going to hit F5 here to refresh the screen. And now we can see this is pending. We're going to come in here and we're going to look at the history to see the approval history of some details here of who it went to and when it got approved and any comments that were made as well, if you put any in there in that prior screen. Okay. Okay. So now let's say that this subcontractor has invoiced. And we're going to convert this to a subcontract invoice. Let's put a number in here. Hit submit. Okay, now that shows converted. Let's go look over at his sign in here. And you can see the $61,500 subcontract invoice now, which he could view again if he wanted and approve or he could approve or decline right from that screen here. And that is how you do approval workflow with subcontracts or POs and their related invoices in Sage Intact Construction.